but I think it goes beyond just a, a money thing, and it may sound kind of strange to say you fight poverty with more than just money, but I, I really think a lot of it is about choices we make and how we use what we have. I think the first thing that people should probably do is look around. Um, I just really believe that things are happening all around us all the time. I think the church needs to be proactive in looking for needs, all right? Um, because there's a number of needs that go un go unanswered. God is putting opportunities in front of you constantly, and you have choices, probably things to respond or not to respond. And um, I would just encourage people to open up their hearts and their minds and their eyes to the world around them. The biggest advice for um for if you want to help with poverty is to get involved with your community and educate yourself as to what poverty is and uh, just ask what you can do in your community, see what programs are available, um, just dive right in and get involved. But I think some of the churches are missing the real thing and that's outside their four walls. Uh, you know, God has called the church to his people. He hasn't called people to the church and I think the church has gotten that backwards a little bit waiting for the people to come to them you come to us and we'll help you uh, I really think the church needs to go to the people where the need is and, and that really is, is pictured in Jesus Christ's ministry but people's time and time and their hearts are also needed and I think that gets overlooked um, it's very easy to write a check drop it in the mail and say I help um, harder to walk out of your house and walk down the street or walk to the community kitchen and give up your time. So that means I need to get to know the person that I'm helping to see what his needs actually are and meet the need, not necessarily um, just taking the easy way out throwing some money at him.